my beautiful fragrance family, Dustin here, fragrance fan. Go ahead and do me a solid and click that like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell notification. And I'm just going to keep on giving you guys these budget-friendly fragrance reviews. 40 to dollar range, and most of these are way less than that, and a good number of these. You can find out at your local rack store, like the two that I have here today. This video, as you can tell from the thumbnail, you know what this is about, and this thing came highly suggested from you guys, and... It's hard to do because they are cloning two different fragrances, same ballpark, same house, just two different flankers, an original and a flanker. So diving right into this thing, the first one I have is Camara's Contra for you. So it's a unique looking bottle. I kind of like it. You know, it's got a little detailing and the leather and stuff. A uh, little gimmicky thing there. I dig it. The lid, pretty snug in a place, and these legendary atomizers. How beautiful! So this thing is simple, and simply, I just breathe some of that in my tongue. It doesn't taste good. <laughs> and I was gonna say delicious. <laughs> it's delicious smelling. It's wonderful. It's simple and so good smelling. You can have a simple fragrance and it can just be amazing. Good example. Same vein. Similar smelling. Cremos, spice, and black vanilla. It's as simple as that. My goodness. Look at the dent I've taken out of this thing. In Florida, when you can only wear it a certain amount of times. Actually, I was in Georgia for a little bit too when I had this. So, But still, I was juicing this thing up. This guy has notes of chestnut, uh, clary sage, and vanilla. There's something else, I'm forgetting it, I'll put it up on the screen. But there's four notes, according to Fragrantica, four notes in this thing, that's all I can pick up in it. It's simple, it's woody, spicy, sweet, creamy a little bit, and it maintains that through the life of it. It really doesn't morph, it's a little bit brighter in the opening, a little bit more of that fresh spiciness in the opening, a little warm spiciness as well. So that spiciness dies back a little bit, becomes a little bit more woody and vanilla and creamy, but other than that, I mean, it, it's not that much. It pretty much maintains true from the beginning to the end, and longevity on this is very good. Very good. Eight hours minimum I'm getting on me, and that's saying a lot. I squirt on clothes too, so that could help a little bit, but that's what I'm getting. The other one that I'm comparing this to is Milestones Together With You Always. Now, there's two different Giorgio Armani Stronger With You's that people say that this might be a clone of absolutely or intensely. And I can see where people would think that it might be the absolutely because it does kind of have a little bit of that booziness a little bit of that balsamic-y thing, but I think this is intensely because I pick up some kind of toffee thing going on in here. When I look at the main accords, it's something like, um, there's like spicy, vanilla, cinnamon, caramel, and I, I pick up all that in this thing, all of it. Presentation looks just like the bottle, I mean, they're going for. I mean, you can they're not trying to hide behind nothing with this thing. The atomizer lid is deceitful because right there it sounded like it was on, but it's not. So you really gotta make sure that it clicks on. It's on there nice and tight. And another one of those beautiful legendary atomizers. So amazing. This thing has a lot of stuff going on. It's sophisticated, it's sexy. It's another delicious fragrance. It's more complex. It's a little bit more um, mysterious almost because there's more going on and you're trying to figure it out. It's a little bit darker, even a little bit richer. But which one wins? Which one, if I had to choose between one of these two, let me just say, when I spray these in the air, even first on skin, I was quickly, Going towards this, pretty quickly. I love the way that this thing smells in the air, right off the bat, I'm not saying, it's it's delicious, it's fantastic. But at the very beginning, 
I was thinking this one for sure. It's more universal. It's an easier wear. It's um, it's not as challenging. Is one of the reasons. The more it started to dry down, I got this one here. And I got this one over here. And the more it started to dry down, and on skin, I was really, really struggling to figure out which one, if I had to choose only one of these, if one of them just had to disappear, which one would I keep? And it took a minute of me smelling back and forth. And I found myself smelling this one a little bit more. I was like, wow, this is, it's captivating me. It's grabbing me, it really is. But on the slightest of all margins, this is the one I'm talking about the slightest. And like I said, this took me a minute to smell between the two. I just like how simple, sexy, universal, just it's so delicious smelling. I just, I, I know I'm going to reach for this more. That's another thing that made me de determine it. I'm going to probably reach for this a bit more and it lasts a little longer. This ain't a bad performing fragrance. It's six, seven hours for sure. It's above average. But this one, it just kept pumping off. It just kept on going. It could even be longer because by the time it wore off, I'm taking a shower and stuff and going to bed. And by that time, it was still pump it off me. I mean, it could easily be a nine hour fragrance. I don't think it'd be a 10 or a 12, but it could probably go as far as a nine hour fragrance, whereas this one is probably maxing out around the seven hour on me range. But I don't want to take away from anything on how delicious, wonderful, dark, um, alluring, complex, sophisticated, just kind of boss smelling this is. If you see this, just pick it up, man. Because they know, it's like when, when I see them, um, I don't see them again. When they're gone off the shelves, I just don't see them again. So if you see this thing, don't hesitate. Just buy it. It's like $15 or $20. Same thing with this one. It was $14.99. You cannot beat that. These things are like, you feel like you're stealing them almost when you get them at that price. So they're both awesome. I recommend both of them highly. They're awesome winter, fall fragrances. These things are perfect, especially this one for like being around a fireplace or something like that or wanting to smell just different and mysterious on like a Thanksgiving if you got a big old family or something, you got the Christmas movie playing, you got the fireplace, this thing is going to do just stellar on that. But like I said, overall, by like on a scale of 10, if I'm going with on a scale of 10, these are both an 8. This one's an 8.04, you know? So it's so close, but it's just a little bit easier, a little bit less challenging, more mass pleasing, I guess. That might be one of the reasons why it's more universally easier for me to read or reach for, but that's why this video is a little bit longer because I really wanted to do these two justice because they are just so sought after, so amazing, and they deserved the love and the hype that they are writing. They are good fragrances. So that's my final take on comparing milestones together with you always and Kamara's Contra for you. With that, I'm out. Y'all be blessed. Take care of yourself always. And until next time.